and we're back. We're back. Here we go. <laughs> oh, this game. Like, I forget that we're kind of recording right now because I'm just kind of like, we're just sitting just here the lore that you give me and just kind of like, oh man, I like Silent Hill and now I'm learning more. I know. There's something Silent Hill is just interestingly created world that they did. Did you hear that? Yeah. Something's pretty spooky in here. Don't shoot. Wait, I'm not here to fight. My name is Harry Mason. I'm in town on vacation. <laughs> Thank God, another human being. Doesn't even apologize. Do you work here? So. I'm Dr. Michael Kaufman. I work at this hospital. So maybe you can tell me what's going on. I really can't say. I was taking a nap in the staff room. When I woke up, it was like this. Everyone seems to have disappeared. And it's snowing out this time of year. Something's gone seriously wrong. Did you see those monsters? Have you ever seen such aberrations? Ever even heard of such things? You and I both know creatures like that don't exist. Yeah. Have you seen a little girl anywhere? I'm looking for my daughter. She's only seven. Short, black hair. She's missing. I'm sorry. I think it's too early. But with all those monsters around, I highly doubt that she's... She's here with you. She died four years ago. Now it's just me and my daughter. I see. I'm sorry. Well, I'd better be going. I can't just sit around here doing nothing. So long. Good luck out there. I know it's plot convenient, but why didn't it be smart to just stick around together? You know, strengthen yeah. numbers. <laughs> this guy, uh, Michael Kaufman's a little uh, uh, shady. You'll, you'll figure shady is the word for it. Yeah. No, I had a feeling when he opened fire on you immediately. And then was not no remor not remorseful whatsoever. He's like, oh, thank you. He's got that evil guy tone Looking. too as well. Hey, have you ever heard of Jordan underneath? No. Oh, he's a pretty cool little YouTuber. I think he'll like his retrospective on Silent Hill. Hopefully. Just a little suggestion you know, for you to watch. Fifteen hours pretty good. <clears throat> oh, send me a link and I'll watch it. All right. Then. You should watch the real Silent Hill experience. We have. I'm asking. I'm telling that to the people. Oh like, yeah. Everybody, just watch anything that any creator does on Silent Hill, because they usually deserve it, if it's good. Yeah, this game is fantastic. Um, there's something in here. Is this... The, okay, this is the one, I think. It's a shame. All right, it's here we go. Ooh. There's the newspaper. The article's been clipped out. So it's like, okay. That clipped out article will appear way later in the game. All right, then. Except that is the piece that is not is not there. It just doesn't exist in the American version. Ooh, so you we never, have the American you never get to know what is actually there. But it is extremely vital in piecing together the information from the game. All right, then. So right now I'm grabbing as much as I can. What happened? Like, in, in the in the glitch, it was just, just some weird... Cod coding error. Mm -hmm. And they Most fixed likely. it in the PAL and Japan version. Yeah, they fixed it in those versions. 
So it marks the significance of the article being there. And how much later was the the year the pa the European I'm release than the U.S.? I'm assuming probably a couple months. You have, can probably look it up. That requires work. Okay, this this is what I need for the good plus ending. Um, actually, this is required for the good ending as well as the bad plus ending. Mm -hmm. You get that plastic bottle. Okay, because that is passable. It's not necessary. It's kind of tricky to see. But you need that if you want to get the good plus, good plus or bad plus endings. Seems very. Um, what sort of lucky for? Minimal or uh, easy to miss or non important. Sometimes. There we go. Glass vial I shattered. So you take that. You'd figure. You'd figure. You use that bottle you just found. Mm hmm. So you've got some of this red liquid. You don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. um, that'll that'll be important later. But you hold on to that for a long time. Got it. You can see you can see that whole you can see that whole room was rummaged and just completely flipped apart. Yeah. Okay. Um, would you fill it up even for the bad plus ending? Yep, bad plus and good, good plus, plus endings. That's a requirement. So there's going to be a, an important decision to use with that later. Yeah. On. Okay. It got dark. Cause I'm in the basement. Oh. Oh. Luckily, it's only these guys. They're like cockroaches. Yeah, they're the, they're like the least frightening of the. Yeah, if you're not a big bug fan. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> a big bug fan. Sick. It's that not music. That's weird, creepy audio. It's like wailing. We just like feel like somebody's gonna pop out with this noise, but it never does. All right. Regardless, I turn on the generator so I can use this now. And this part is. Uh, the Silent Two elevator, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll get into that in the future. Oh yeah. To me, it's locked. Stock. Okay, so that's like everything, right? Mm -hmm. All the floors are completely blocked off. Except... You can't get into that room there. Okay. So it's like, okay, go back in the elevator figure out what to do. Oh. What? This love is like, you're trying to do the right thing and it's like, nothing's working. And then the game just messes with you like, hey, we're just messing with you. It's like, not the game itself, but in main... There she is again. Oh, uh, and the world changed. Yep. It's like the Already. It's, the world is messing with you, basically. Already we're in the nightmare world. That was fast. Locked door. Can't get back, so now every single door appears locked. I'm not even going to bother with them. All right. So we're on a floor that doesn't even exist. And now it's dark. But look at those graphics. Okay, yeah. That's like so detailed for PS1. It, it, it's like, you can't see in front of you, so like, you, you gotta move to see stuff, and it's, it's that's nerve wracking. Like, oh, dark, dark little room. Here's my flashlight, let's go. Now, all you have is a tiny little flashlight illuminating <laughs> you. Gotta figure out where I'm going. Okay. I like to turn off the flashlight. Mm hmm. Because here we go. What the fuck? The nurses!
You know, they're not as pretty as their mute movie counterparts. No. <laughs> <laughs> the, mo- the movies are bad, too. <laughs> Enough with the stinking movie. <laughs> no, I'm just... It's so funny how that turned into what the movie wanted to translate them to. Nurses are in, like, every game. Of course, they had to make them sexy. Like, oh, yeah, this fat well, it would monster. Ma- it would make sense in two, though. For the theme that they're going for. In two, they're called bobblehead nurses because mm-hmm. their necks are yeah. like broken and they yeah. just like shake their head and it's like their their heads are like extremely swollen. Yeah, but in the theme, it's like, you know, frustrating. We'll talk about that when we get to two, but. Yeah. This noise like counts your nightmares. That's a safe point. You know what's scarier? Michael on a bad morning. Oh dear. Hey Mikey. Okay, we had to cut that out, but here we go. We're back. What happened? To We're this back. place. This VCR. Just just pay attention to that for the future. Because VCR. We, we do come VCR. We do come back. <laughs> I didn't even realize the stupidity of my comment. VCR. I just repeated what you said. Remember VCR. 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 <laughs> no, not the <laughs> so cute. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> we're playing Silent Hill. <laughs> yeah, Silent Hill. But this 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 hospital. Because I remember when I was little, I looked at the. I was like freaked out by the. By the school, but then when I got to this place, you're like, <sighs> what broke in there? I just remember thinking and looking at the ground and stuff. I'm like, this is horrible. Like, I thought the school was bad, but this place is just ah. It's even worse. Even worse. Um, I don't think there's anything important in here. Just Doesn't the, uh... Okay. Doesn't the, uh, if you have your flashlight on or off... Uh, yeah, I always turn, I turn the flashlight off when I'm entering rooms sometimes. Mm-hmm. Because they can't, uh... See you Especially here in the school, uh, in the in the hospital, because that's where the enemies are really fast. Mm-hmm. I don't like that sound. I know. It's like the Jaws theme, so it's like something's coming. Oh wait, there's nothing. It's in a different key though. That's higher pitched. Yeah, but it's like the constant like yeah. repetition. You feel like it's gonna go faster. It's like no. It's all sounds of the world. It's definitely something to make you uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. As, as this it game puts does you on well. edge. It doesn't. The game doesn't let you get comfortable. <laughs> Even when it's you're like in... it constantly pushes new stuff at you. It's like that's the safe room. Like how that was a safe room at first, and you go back to it, and it's like, oh well, this place that was once made me feel safe. I don't feel comfortable in there at all now. I know. Totally. It's like it works on keeping you on edge constantly. Play the cat. Is that going to be important? Yeah, I, I already picked up another plate. Remember earlier? Oh, yes. No. But sometimes Maybe. you walk out here, the room will just respawn with enemies. That sucks. It's so awkward how the room's shaped where it's all empty in the middle. Like there's a pit, and so you got to walk on the I edges. I know you have to walk around the edge. It's freaky. Um. Now, I'm a little less familiar with this place, so it'll probably take me a little longer to get through than it did with the uh, uh, school. Not if I pull up my memories. <laughs> no, we rely on no I, I know where to go. I'll just. I just don't know the most efficient way of getting it done, you know? There we go. I need to take the actual stairwell for that, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back up to the third floor. We're and just on. take the stairs down. We're on the road again. No, 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 no. I'm just going to be on the road again. But luckily, the enemies aren't respawning right now. That's e- good. In easy mode, they don't respawn that often. Mm-hmm. Normal, they respawn a lot more. Hard, they spawn all the time? Yeah, kind of. Or they spawn more enemies. Okay. Especially. Sometimes there's like, they're like bait enemies. Especially in this one, where it's like, after you leave the drawbridge area. Yeah. One sec. There's one ahead of me and there's one to the left of me. Just 
she's dead already. Um. The bridge. The bridge. One of those um, enemies, if you if you shoot it, then five more will pop up to replace it. Oh, that's not good. Okay, gotta gather my bearings. I love how his his kick sometimes changes to a stomp. Yeah, sometimes it's a stomp, sometimes a kick. Okay. There's a plate back there I want, but I can't get to it. You can see the blood stain in front of it, so you use your blood pack to distractify them. I was about to say the joke, like, I see enough horn to know where this is gonna go. Tentacles. <laughs> Goofball. No, oh, items? Like, you, you said, like, um,. A lot of times it's easy to miss the items because, mm -hmm. like, you can't tell what there are. In Silent Hill 2 and 3, they have got a really interesting way of fixing that. In those games, mm -hmm. the character looks at them. If there's oh. something of significance, you can the character will turn their head and look at it. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, it's like the little head tracking. Like, you walk into a room and you notice immediately, oh, they're looking at something. I gotta find that item. Here they don't really do that, but well, I mean, most of the time you could see that they were a little limited. There's, some, there's something. Objects, objects of significance in this game are usually um, easy enough to notice that they're there. That. The Grim Reapers list? Don't even have to do that right now. Is this what I think it is? Yes, it is. We don't need to do this yet. Yeah, we need one more, one more of those. So I have to go to the first floor for that right now. Right? Right, I don't know. Yeah, I've got to go. Now we're under the, I think the, I'm not even sure if I can get to the first floor right now. Oh, yeah, I know I can. Maybe it has to be from the elevator, though. Shit. Here we go. The doctor. Oh, wow. He's a little tougher. Uh, it makes you uncomfortable. <laughs> it's like that I really have to do that. Um, gathering my bearings here. I'm trying to figure out exactly where I am. I can't go out here. This is broke. This is locked. That's to the front door. This is. These are restrooms, and they're always broken. And then here we go. Oh, right, there we go. That's precisely why I turned off the light because he'd notice me faster. Mm -hmm. They change the doctors now. Yeah. So they're both, but you can see there's something growing out of their backs. Mm -hmm. Looks like a, like a little baby growing out of their backs. Yeah, no, you can see it. It moves around when they die. Wait a minute. Hold on. Where am I? Oh, here I am. Normally I come down through the elevator, so I got mixed around there. Well, it kind of makes sense that you're, the doctors are all down here now, since you're nearby the doctor's offices. Yeah. That is the basement. I'm going to wait just a minute. Wait just a minute. Some of the rooms don't have anything in it. Some of are empty rooms. The sound still makes... You're saying? Ah. Uh... Anyway, that's a good time to... uh. <laughs> It's a good portion to take another break for uh, next time. So make sure we'll leave it with handgun bolts. Join us next time where we continue to uh, slaughter the hospital. Thank you for joining us. Come again.